Hello everybody, welcome to the first video on my channel. Today we will be building a team around Jason Tatum. The chart that I will be using for this is up on the screen now. And the first player I'm going to get for is in the $2 column. Point guard, Ja Morant. Okay, here we go. First pair we'll be trading for is Ja Morant. He provides a nice defensive start to the backcourt, and he is a very good passer, very good scorer. He should fit in very well with Jason Tatum. The next player that I will be getting is from the $3 column, and that is Devin Booker from the Phoenix Suns. As a Celtics fan, I remember vividly when Devin Booker dropped 70 points on the Celtics not that long ago. So, should be a very, very good offensive, offensively minded player. And I don't care about the lack of defense because I already have John Morant back there who should provide that defense very well. Now, the next player is from the $4 column, and that is Bam Adebayo from the Miami Heat, who can do just about anything that you need him to. Plays defense, can produce on offense, this isn't going to work. Okay, yeah. So, Bam Adebayo can do just about anything. We know 2K goes great when you put him in power forward. We're not going to do that today. But, I will be trading for him in here for Jalen Brown, Carson Edwards. Should be a very nice center. So, now, if my math is right, that means we have $5 left. And, I think you know where this is going. I am going to get Giannis Antetokounmpo to be the power forward. This should, hopefully, this will work. We'll go 82 and 0. But Giannis, let me change this real quick. Giannis provides that, you know, I guess, third, we have three offensive minded players in. Um, Three scoring minded players in Giannis, Tatum, and Booker. But we also have defense in John Morant, Jason Tatum, Giannis, and Bam Adebayo. And I think this will, this should work very well. So we have Tatum and Giannis playing 37 and 38 minutes, Booker 33, Morant 31, and Bam 32 with the bench just looking like the Celtics bench. So now system proficiency, defense, three and a half, not bad, but balance, four and a half stars, and that, that that's what we're going to go with. It fits, oh, it doesn't fit BAM too well. That's, yeah, we're going to go with balance anyway. won't bother changing Brad Stevens's coaching his main coaching philosophy. But, so yeah, so this is the very first video on my channel. If by some chance you did, you are my family and you saw some of the old videos, those will no longer be up. I'm going to mainly switch to gaming content now as we still somehow lose to the Bucks. But, yeah, so Jason Tatum I think is if you don't, I'm a Celtics fan. If you ever see my face, I will be wearing, I will probably be wearing a Celtics hat. Um, but I think, as a Celtics fan, Jason Tatum is being a little bit overrated. I have heard him call, been called a top 10 player in the league. That is not, not true. He, he has made a lot of progress. A lot of progress from when he first came into the league. But he's just not a top 10 player yet. Will he be in the next couple years? Probably. I, I do love watching the video on ESPN channel with Kendrick Perkins and Brian Scalabrini talking about their 
MVPs and their defense player of the years. I love watching that. Jason Tatum gets a lot of love in that video. Absolutely amazing. But I don't think he's quite there yet. He will be very soon. Because his offense, already very good. Very skilled offensive player. His defense, very good defensively. I, he should, he will be the building piece. He will be the building block for the Celtics rebuild or not necessarily rebuild, but as they grow, he is going to be the player that they keep. I think, I, I, I believe that Danny Ainge is smart enough to realize that, that Tatum has some of the most potential out of anybody in the league, except for Luka Doncic, who as proven by 2K, is the best player already. Now, Tatum, I forgot what I said. Anyway, so the Celtics are in a very good spot. I'm not just saying that as a Celtics fan. They are in a very good spot. They're already the third best team in the Eastern Conference. Had a very close game with the Bucks, despite Tatum only scoring five points. So the Celtics are in a very good spot, especially in a weaker Eastern Conference. Now, they will probably always have to deal with Giannis. Giannis will probably stay with the Bucks for his entire career. They will have to deal with the Raptors. The Hawks will be very scary. Sorry, Trey Young will be very scary, along with John Collins. I don't know too much outside of that. 76ers, if it clicks, I don't know too much outside of that. 76ers, if it clicks, are a very scary team. Very scary team. But the fact that this this young Celtics team has already made it to an Eastern Conference Final Game 7 shows a whole lot of promise. That There's a good chance they'll end up there again this year. Because the year that they did make it, they had to go through a much better Sixers team. Much better team, much better, I think they played the Bucks that year in the first round. My memory serves me correct. They had to play, they had to play against LeBron. They don't have to do that anymore. Where they still have Giannis, but Giannis this year, I don't think is quite the same as Giannis or LeBron a couple years ago. Especially playoff LeBron a couple years ago. That was something really scary. But I think there's a solid chance that the Celtics make it to the Eastern Conference Finals this year in the shortened bubble. Uh, they did lose their game to the Bucks uh, yesterday. But it was still close. It was still a very close game. Now, I do expect more than five points out of Tatum. But I think, and I think the Celtics have a good shot at winning their next seven games. I don't have the exact schedule memorized, but I think one of those games will be against the Raptors, which will be a tough game. But I think the Celtics could win. I have no doubt that they can win their next seven games. Now, once the playoff starts, that's when I get a little bit nervous because we haven't been the best playoff performing team recently. We, well, I should say, we haven't been the best playoff performing team against great teams or even good play, good team, not even good teams, good players. Like the, we lost to a LeBron, LeBron team that was literally just LeBron. That, that was the team. We lost to that team in seven. But we lost to that team. And then we go up a game on Giannis. End up losing the series in five games. So if I'd be a little bit nervous if he faced the 76ers in the first round. Don't think we will. But 
my guess that is that we will face the Pacers in the first round without because they don't have Ola, they might not have Oladipo. They definitely won't have Sabonis. So I'm not as good as that one. But if we do end up playing the Sixers, that scares me because they have two very good players. Two almost top, at least one top ten player and one very close. Um, then after that, if we do win the first series, we have to go and play the Toronto Raptors or the Milwaukee Bucks. Probably, it'll probably be the Toronto Raptors second round. But that's a tough series because the Buck, the, not the Bucks, the Raptors are just a very good team, and they have a very good player in Pascal Siakam. That scares me. Especially the fact that they're doing so well without a top three player on their team, without Kawhi Leonard. That scares me. And then if by some chance we get past them, and not by some chance, if we get past them, it'll more than likely be the Bucks. And the Bucks scare me a little bit, as they will probably have the MVP. Then after that, we're going to have to go and face more than likely an L.A. team as we get the MVP this season. Uh, we're going to face an L.A. team, very both of them, doesn't matter who, very stacked. Very scary. But now back to this. So Giannis, our power forward, wins MVP. Zion, rookie of the year. Yusuf Nurkic, six-man. Kawhi Leonard, defensive player. Luka Doncic most improved, and that Brad Stevens, coach of the year. As we go 75 and 7, new best record in. So now on to the first team. We have Giannis, and that's it. Second team, nobody. Third team, nobody. That's. I expected at least one other person, but apparently not. All defensive team. First team, we have nobody. All defensive second team, we have Giannis. Good job, Giannis. All rookie first team, nobody. Or, no, sorry. Ja Morant. My bad. I'm used to seeing him on the Grizzlies. We got Ja Morant. And second team, we got nobody. Now, on to the playoffs. We are the first seed against the eight seed Bucks, who I think we lost to three times during the regular season. Because that makes sense. But first round. Uh, we traded them. Did we trade them? Well, I just blind. He was on there. Yeah. Yeah. Whoever we, they must they must be on the Clippers. Let me go over here. I have no clue who we traded to be honest. Okay. Figured it out. I yeah, traded him Gorgi Dang who who they no, no longer have. They 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 So yeah, I found him. Yeah, he's he's on the Clippers now with Kyle Corver is the Bucks th found it necessary to trade. Where is he? For Patrick Beverly. I mean, not bad, but good. Good job, Milwaukee. So yeah, so first round, Milwaukee Bucks. Shouldn't be hard. Yeah, game one. Good game two. Good game three. They get game four. There we go. One in five. Not bad. So now against the 76ers, who have the exact same team. Except for that guy, I think. And maybe that one. Don't know. Not that smart. They, he, they just don't have an actual Sixers picture. But yeah, basically the same team. Let's see. Come on, Giannis, we get game one. Game two. Game three. 
They get game four again. And we're winning five uh, again. Okay. Now the Toronto Raptors. Exact same team. It's literally the exact team. Which is to be expected. Is he on the Raptors? He was on the Raptors. Okay. Anyway, yeah, exact same team. Okay, I'm on. We get game one, game two, game three, and we sweep them. Our first sweep comes in the conference finals as we face the Los Angeles Clippers, who have. Where is he? Gordy Dane. Played, was on our yeah, played for us. Was on our team for five seconds. I want to see what this says. Not you. You. I think he yeah, never played first. So yeah. So playing. I'm so good at this. And we'll just sing it the same cast. Same in the game. Come on. Good stick. Good. We get game one. Okay, good start. Not good. Not not good. Who's game two? Game three. Come on, good job. You're doing good. You good. And we get game three. On to game four. Not as good. Do better. Who's game four? Two to four. The series is now two to two. Game five, be better, be better, you're not better. On to game seven. Come on, you good, you good, good, keep doing good, 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 good job. Three all, game seven, here we go. Good, good. And, and. We did it. We did it, boys. Hello. We did it. Yeah, I'm, I'm saying. I'm saying. Hello. Hi there. Hi. We're going to hop into the game. Game seven. I am one for one in my videos. I am super proud. As I'm going to play the final minute 32. Come on, I'm this already. Okay, let's get. Where's Tatum? Oh, he's right there. I'm blind. Come on, Tatum. Yeah. Pick him all, Tanner. Bang! Let's go. How many points does Tatum have? Oh, yeah. I'll, have to, I'll check after. Um, clamps with the honest. Clamps with the honest. Dang it. Uh. Yeah, that that's not good. I, I, I suck. Well, now we got no Tatum for the rest of the video. Well, that was that was smart. Okay, let's go with Booker. Oh shoot, I forgot to check the stats. I meant to do that. Booker for three. Probably missed. Be better, Devin. You know, it was a horrible shot. Casey didn't know. Let's go. One game. Clamps. Devin Beck right now don't got no clamps, but we try. Giannis, swat him. Let's go, Giannis. Come on. Giannis, that was weak. I see you jump over. Come on, dunk the ball. I'm gonna clamps on. Oh, no, okay. Let's see, clamp. What the heck are you doing in here? Oh yeah, I found that with Tatum. Oh, I, yeah. Oh, go draw. Give it to Grant. Grant Williams and one. You you are now the MVP, the Finals MVP. Grant Williams. Two points in all seven games. Finals MVP, easy. Scored an animal on Kawhi. Let's go. 
Bang. Let's go. Grant Williams. Finals MVP. Easy. Okay, okay, let's get a steal. I know you suck for defense, but let's get a steal. I, I, and I love Devin Booker, though. I'm not trying. I'm not. No Devin Booker hate. Devin Booker is absolutely amazing. But his defense, it's like mine. He sucks. But it's okay. He, he's much better at offense than I am. Steal. And we win. There we go. What you waited an extra two minutes for. But there we go. Tatum jumping like he's just learned how to jump again. Very excited as we get banner number 18. That was fun. I will... I wouldn't say probably... I'm 100% doing this again. Uh, don't know who it will be with next. But I'm... Definitely doing the same. Hurry up, just give me the trophy already. I, I don't I don't care about the clippers. I just give, give me that be honest that was weak. Stop, stop. There we go. Be honest, you need to be like Grant Williams. Okay, you, you need to get and ones, not not just weak layups. Oh there we go. Bam out of bio with holding the trophy. It looks it's holding like it's too heavy for him. As Giannis gets finals MVP, Tatum holding the trophy. Thank you all very much for watching this video. Please like and subscribe, comment if you want to, and you'll be seeing another one of these very soon.